Hello, I'm Chris Thanos, I'm KMP developer. Today we're going to be talking about how to use room, the room database that most Android developers have used and uh, is very popular. I've used it quite a bit uh, in KMP for iOS and Android. Uh, and uh, tech support's coming out for that on Tuesday, as you probably already know. Um, so let's go do a little demo of what we're talking about here. So here's the uh, Android device here running. Um, and I can add an item here and uh, which just integers, it's just database that has integers in it. Uh, so it's it's st storing integers, and you can click on an integer, one of these items here, and it'll show you the content of that integer. All right, so it's just an integer. It's not simple to do this, very basic. The whole idea, I want to make the most simple example possible because the example for the for Rome uh, uses KMM, the KMM technique. So you have a different UI for uh, uses a Swift UI. Um, the example I'm I'm going to show. Um, it uses a it uses an ex a older example example. It's like it's a couple years old. So this is uses one UI. There's there's only there's not two UIs. One UI is all composed. And of course it does it does the exact same thing on the on on, on iOS as on Android. All right. So I'm going to close that down because it sucks down a lot of CPU. And I'm basing it on this this. Uh, I created a wizard here, you know, use the wizard, the KMP Jet Writings wizard. I made um, the two platforms. The only thing I'm trying out on this particular uh, video is just the Android and the iOS. It may work for desktop, web, and server. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Uh, I just want to get iOS and Android. That was my, my goal here. And I I saw how they updated this, uh, the Fruities uh, example, but it still uses KMM uh, like style where it's your, you know, your split, you split the UI. Uh, so the core functionality is the same. You know, is 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 there's a there's a core functionality, but the UI is different. I want the UI to be the same because that's half, that's like ninety percent of it on mobile anyway. So, um, so let's see, do, 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 do. Okay, so I went through the instructions here with, that were just updated. I was like, yes, I was like, yes, we have room, room on it. And I tried to go through the example here, and I could not get it to work. I, I tried their official sample. I was like, okay, that uses. Doesn't have a combined UI. It's not KMP. KMP means compose with the compose everything. It's not KMM. It's KMP. So KMP means com unified UI. That's the whole. That's the whole point. I thought you know for me it is, at least it is. So I added all this stuff here and I got tried to get it working. I was just having the most horrendous time uh, getting all this, this stuff set properly. And it kind of gives you this hint like uh, you should be using where is it? Where is it here? Where is it here? Uh, where does it say that? Where is it? Do, do, do. Sorry. Sorry, I kind of lost my place here. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, yeah, here it is. So you can use the actual and expected declarations to create platform specific, specific room implementations. And I thought they meant this kind of stuff. It's like, ah, you can't use the actual and expected because the signature for the Git database builder, you have to have this contact, which is context, which is Android specific thing. All right, so you can't really do it that way. So I, I go through and um, show you how that I did it in this in this project. Um, so first of all, you have to add these special lines here. Otherwise, you get this class def not found error, which is super annoying to figure out why and there's a bug on it as well that was just issued a couple of days ago i guess somebody else tried to do it as well and they came up with the same problem so that's that's what that is so the things i had to add here were the were these dependencies for room and there's the native ones here for camp which is very cool and sqlite and all that stuff and then um i added the stuff for paging i didn't have i don't have any paging in this example example but i added it here because it's the next thing i'm probably going to add for my next thing so i just want to you can just shows you where those things are supposed to go. I bumped the up the Android version uh to a uh, JVM target to eleven. Works fine. Um, and then you have to add these uh these KSP compiler uh, uh dependencies uh so that that does the room processing. And here's the database over here. How you set up the database is standard room style database. So here's your queries from SQL style queries. And this is actually gets the difference, and you're passed in this builder. And the builder uh, is it has to be set up on each on each platform. So on iOS, you have to do a database builder. And you, you know, I tried to use the act the actual expected for this, it didn't work because of this context thing. So um, just basically have this thing that 
Git database iOS, or Git database builder for iOS here. So he just goes over here and creates it uh, at the database file and you know does the platform specific thing to uh, it's the this thing. And it gives you this warning error thing that has compiles and runs just fine, but it gives you this warning. So this is like the IDE still needs some help to catch up to KMP. Uh, and I know this is still alpha, I know, I get it. But there's all kinds of little gotchas like that all over the place. <laughs> but you know, exp you can't expect that from alpha stuff. And here's the uh, Android side where you set the database builder over here and it gets this, uh, Maybe here's yeah you know, here's the preview uh, for the preview for compose, um, but here's how you do it on Android. So it's just does very similar thing, but you use this get database path to get the file, and that's how it instantiates it on Android. Um, and that's basically it. And over here is the app is very simple. It uh, here it is. It's got a click here, and I'm using um, here's it, here's where it, so I got no view models. I just wanted to strip this thing down to its core. Uh, core essentials, and if you wanted to add a view model, it's not that hard. Uh, and now there's a new view model component, I guess, for KMP, which I haven't used yet. But I don't really like view models. I just like I want to compose only, no idioms from Android. So I know a lot of Android devs get all upset about that. But you know, this bouncing back and forth, yes, I know it makes it testable. But you can make this testable too if you really wanted to. But uh, for for the most of my purposes, it's just overkill. Um, and doesn't and not necessary. Uh, so anyway, that's all the philosophy. Okay, so here's where you get the database sets the database up in a remember block. So as each you know co composition comes to, it doesn't create a new one, uh, and it gets the DAO based on that. This probably could be two steps or one step, but you know, just showing each little individual thing broken up. And then here's the items where she's getting it as a flow over here, which is you know, using this flow right here. So for so for you know, flows, you don't need to have, you don't have to have a um, a coroutine block, but and it's, so it's not a suspend function. But the, for suspend functions that you're going to be calling, like from a coroutine block here, you need to put those. You know, you have to put the suspend keyword. So that's how that works. So you know, it's nice to have one UI, an example with one UI, very simple, very straightforward. You can still add all the other stuff, but it's like, what the heck is? How do you get this thing working? Because there's a lot of stuff in that example. It's just a lot of noise. And uh, I wish they would get their their examples a little more simple uh, and straightforward. Like that's a, the example they kind of have is a little more advanced and doesn't even do KMP's best thing, which is like this unified UI. This is like a total game changer. Come on now, uh, they're still like, no, you can just write the little UI in Swift. It's like, well, okay, that's the whole point. I don't want to write the UI. I just want one UI, guys. Come on, that's the whole point. You know, I think they're still stuck in this thing. It's like, oh my God, we got the a unified core that we can do inside Kotlin and share. It's like, okay, that's great. That's off. That's awesome. But the real killer thing is the, the sharing the UI because it's such a pain in the neck to get it right on both platforms. There's all kinds of little gotchas on all, all these things. And I really only want to learn one and I can deploy on desktop. And, you know, I, I, I want to check if this works on desktop because, but I'm only, I'm personally only interested in Mac OS desktop. Uh, so, you know, at some point I might get a Windows machine or a Linux box set up so I can do it, check out the desktops there. But really my primary is I'm a, I'm a mobile developer. So my primary reason is I want to do Android and iOS is the biggest markets. And I want to focus in on those and do the background, the back end and kick in Kotlin. So every, I'll use Kotlin and KMP for the whole thing. So that's my whole, that's my whole thing. Um, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see how much time I got here. We're, 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 we're 10 minutes in. I'm trying to keep these less than 20 minutes. Um, I'm all using li these library versions are crazy, and it comes from the comes from the example. So, you know, you're gonna have to get these, these special build -like library versions, and that needs an AI. Honestly, if anybody's working on a project, they're or known as anybody at Google, like getting this stuff all right. It's like this was 90% of it, getting all this stuff set up properly. It's just really got. Come on, it's been years like this and it's just really that's the this stuff getting this stuff set up is honestly the hardest part once it's set up this stuff is super straightforward and easy anyway so that's shows you some simple ways to access the DAO without using a view model uh, pure compose uh, that's where my head's at all right that's enough from me waffling around uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you soon